The US just lost $1 trillion in a single day. And no, it wasn't a crash. A tiny Chinese AI startup just changed the game. This isn't just about tech, it's about global power shifting right now. And India? It's nowhere in the picture. NVIDIA, the American AI chip giant, alone suffered a historic $600 billion drop in valuation within hours, unprecedented in US history. For perspective, that's three times the market value of Reliance Industries wiped out in a single blow. The culprit? Not a financial crash or a cybersecurity breach. It was DeepSeek, a small Chinese AI startup that, in a matter of days, turned the AI world upside down. DeepSeek's R1 model is not just another AI model. It's a paradigm shift built on efficiency, affordability, and accessibility. The ramifications? It has crushed the long-standing dominance of Silicon Valley. And the US is scrambling to respond. But here's the real question. How did a tiny Chinese AI startup do what even Google and OpenAI couldn't? Well, DeepSeek is a Chinese AI company founded in 2023, and it recently unveiled the DeepSeek R1 model, a large language model, LLM, that is shaking the AI world. It's cheaper, faster, and more efficient than its American counterparts. How? By reimagining AI from the ground up. OpenAI's AI models use insane processing power. DeepSeek? It slashed the cost by 75% without losing accuracy. This allows it to run on significantly less powerful hardware. Most AI models have 1.8 trillion parameters, requiring massive computing power and expensive, specialized chips. DeepSeek? Just 671 billion, with only 37 billion active at a time, making it far more power efficient. It doesn't need expensive AI chips. It can run on a gaming PC. And this democratizes access to advanced AI. The result? DeepSeek is 30 times cheaper than ChatGPT. And for regular users, it's completely free. A strategic move ensuring rapid global adoption and potentially establishing a new standard. This aggressive pricing strategy could give DeepSeek a significant market share advantage. For years, the US imposed strict chip export bans to cripple China's AI development. But China found a way to outsmart these restrictions. Instead of waiting for high-end chips, DeepSeek engineers used outdated hardware and still built an AI model that outperforms OpenAI and Meta's latest releases. This demonstrates ingenuity and resourcefulness in the face of adversity. To add insult to injury, DeepSeek is open source. Yeah, you heard that right. Unlike OpenAI's ChatGPT, which is locked behind paywalls, DeepSeek invites global researchers to experiment, tweak, and improve its technology. This fosters a collaborative environment and accelerates innovation, potentially leading to faster improvements and wider adoption. US response, panic and national security concerns. With DeepSeek, Quickly gaining ground, U.S. authorities are scrambling to contain the damage like. The U.S. Navy has banned DeepSeek due to security risks. This highlights concerns about data security and potential misuse of the technology. On the other hand, OpenAI and Microsoft are investigating DeepSeek for allegedly copying GPT-4's architecture. This raises questions about intellectual property and fair competition. Moreover, U.S. regulators fear that DeepSeek could become a tool for China's cyber influence and espionage. This underscores the geopolitical implications implications of AI dominance. India's deafening silence. Where are they in this AI race? And here's the real question. Where does India stand in this US-China AI war? Despite being a global IT powerhouse, India does not have a foundational AI model of its own. Yeah, really. China is making AI history. The US is scrambling to catch up. And India? It's still debating IIT hostile food. This lack of a homegrown LLM could put India at a disadvantage in the future. Two years ago, Rajan Anandan, peak 15th, asked OpenAI's Sam Altman if India could build a foundational AI model. Altman's smug response? Impossible. Well, DeepSeek has just proved him wrong. But why wasn't it India? 
This highlights a potential lack of self-belief and investment in foundational AI research within India. The lost Indian dream from Param to nowhere, but you know what? India wasn't always lagging. In 1987, when the US denied India the Cray XMP supercomputer, Indian scientists developed Param, their first supercomputer. In the 1990s, when the US tried to block cryogenic technology for India's space program, they built their own once again. But where is that spirit today? This nostalgia underscores a perceived decline in India's indigenous technological development. India's Make in India was launched in 2014, while China's Made in China 2025 was launched in 2015. And a decade later, China is dominating AI, semiconductors, space tech, and EVs. But what has Make in India achieved? This comparison highlights the perceived shortcomings of India's industrial policy. Today, India is set to become the third largest economy, but their industrial growth remains stagnant at 4%, far below their 12 to 14% target. They've just imported $120 billion worth of Chinese goods in 2024 while failing to manufacture critical tech themselves. This points to a trade imbalance and a lack of focus on domestic manufacturing of key technologies. While India is still debating mutton versus vegetarian food in IITs, China is investing in quantum computing. The Tianyin 504 quantum computer is among the most powerful in the world. This investment positions China at the forefront of future computing technologies. Nuclear fusion, China's East Reactor, sustained a 100 million degrees Celsius plasma for 1,000 seconds, a major step towards clean energy dominance. This demonstrates a commitment to long-term energy solutions. Reusable rockets. China's land space is set to challenge SpaceX. This signifies ambition in the rapidly growing space industry. Electric vehicles, 60% of global EV sales are in China. And India, just 2%. This showcases China's dominance in the electric vehicle market, while India lags behind. Let's now get to some lessons for India and see what they must change. Invest in R&D. China spent $723 billion on R&D in 2023. India, 10 times less. This disparity in R&D spending highlights a key factor in China's technological advancement. Focus on foundational AI. The government and private sector must invest in indigenous AI models instead of being consumers of American and Chinese tech. This calls for strategic investment in domestic AI capabilities. Stop brain drain. India celebrates Sundar Pichai and Satya Nadella, but they left India for better opportunities. China, on the other hand, attracts its talent back with lucrative offers. This points to the need for policies to retain and attract top talent within India. Build a tech-first mindset. If they focus on real technological progress instead of divisive politics, they might still stand a chance. This emphasizes the importance of prioritizing technological advancement over other concerns. DeepSeek isn't just about AI. It's about the next 50 years of global power. So here's the real question. Is the US finished as AI king? And India, will it ever catch up? Drop a comment below, hit like if you want more global tech updates, and don't forget to subscribe.